Hey and good morning, this is Toby again, not in the gun room, I'm in my truck right now to pick up 10 gorgeous guns from Austria. Combination guns, double rifles, stalking rifles, all the good stuff. But we are not on the way to Austria, we are on the way to a German dealer friend, he was nice to me and he import guns from Austria and he take my guns with him and now today is the day to pick them up. It's just around about two hours drive from my place and that is not so hard. Then I'm looking forward to show you these incredible guns from Austria and uh, see you on soon in front of my guns. Okay, we arrived, we're here. Now we go in and I'm looking forward to show you all these great guns. See you in a minute. Okay guys, we are back. Uh, I'm arrived. I'm here with Max. Good to see you. Hi there. Nice to meet you today. All the guns are on the next table right next to us, but let's start with a little uh, introducing um, who Max is and what he did. And uh, um, at first, uh, thank you for your hospitality and uh, I appreciate that you do all the work for me. Yeah, sure. Um, well, hi, my name is Max. I'm from Moss Fanny Jagdwaffen. I'm a local trader here in Germany. And Toby asked me to do the import work um, between Austria and Germany. And, right. Um, that's kind of business stuff for me. Now let's start with the guns. All guns are in plastic right now. Let's take a look here. It's all the stuff on the table. And we start now to open all these plastic boxes and then we let you know what is the first gun. Okay, the first gun are free or the first few guns are free. First one I want to show you is that stalking gun, single shot 7mm ram. It's made by Borovnik Austria in the late 70s. Nice shiny gun. Pretty good condition. Next one is that double rifle, side lock double rifle over under 9.3 by 74R. The scopes are also here. No problem. We, we pick up the scopes later and show you in our gun room later the full gun with scope. And Max, what kind of gun you got right now over here? This is a beautiful drilling. I think it's made by Just 6.5 to 57R and 12 to 70. Nice. It's nice condition. Finely engraved with some moose and some red deer. Some row on the bottom. Nice shiny rifle. It is a nice gun. And then take a look. We search for more barrels now. We have three receivers on the table and now we are looking for more barrels. Okay, we are ready with the work. We are done now. We open all boxes, take a look on the table. Here are all our guns. I try to show you a little bit more the details. Totally we got three shotguns here in the front. All three shotguns are, no, not all, two are 20 gauge and one is on 12 gauge, but all three with side locks. Then we have here an over-under shotgun rifle, a double rifle, right now it's an over-under shotgun too, a drilling, a double rifle, single shot, another drilling, and last but not least, it's a pretty interesting gun. It's a nice drilling and the caliber is pretty unique. It's a 6.5 by 55 Swedish. Okay. Okay, we are ready now and it's time to, to leave this beautiful place and go back home in my gun room to bring the guns in the room and work a little bit more on guns. Max, thank you for your help. It was a pleasure to meet you. And Always welcome. I hope we see us again pretty soon. And 
say goodbye. See you later on the channel and uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay guys, I'm back in the car, back on my way home. It was a nice and interesting visit in Max place. And finally I bought two nice guns more. Actually a um, pretty nice side-by-side -side 410, what is unique and rare here. And and another side-by-side -side 12 gauge from Great Britain made in 1910 or something in Damas steel gun and it's made for one of these high nobilities in that time but I need to figure out what is the story behind that British shotgun okay I come back to you if I arrived in the gun room and show you more details from our guns Okay, I'm back in the gun room. The guns are safe. I show you in the next video in more details from every single gun. The only two guns I want to show you now are these two shotguns, both side by side. That is the one made in Great Britain, something around 1910, 1912. Damascus steel. Damascus steel. I want to show you more details later. And the other one is pretty light, pretty nice, small. 410 side by side, pretty cool gun, very light, classical side by side, but in a very, very small version. I like that gun a lot, it's, it's gorgeous. Okay, that's enough for the gun trip today. Let's show a little jump to the United States and let's see how that works. And George, where are you right now and, and what did you do? We're in Forest Home, Alabama and we're on a hunting brotherly trip, progressive hunt. And I'm here with my brother David and we are doing what? What is, what is it you're doing, David? I'm listening to George. And we're shooting our drillings. We hunted this morning and yesterday. We're having a brotherly time. And I am very excited to own this. And I'm watching George work with his. Was that just we shot at 50 yards and at 100 yards. And we're going to see how we did. I shot my 25-25 black powder cartridge in my 1902 Hollenbeck drilling but with my German 30-30 insert in my right shotgun barrel. David shot his 7x65R through his Austrian drilling. George Inge, German hunting gun TV, with my brother David. We are on a progressive brotherly hunt, and basically, I wanted to check my 1902 Hollenbeck drilling. I have 2525 Stevens black powder cartridge. This is an American drilling, and then I have my 3030 Winchester insert, which I sent back to Germany. Toby helped me have it placed in my gun. So at 50 yards. I shot. As you can see, here's my 3030 Winchester insert. Here's my 2525 black powder cartridge. I'm feeling very good about it. I'm ready to put something on the ground this afternoon. Let's see how David Forest Home, Alabama. So, with my German 3030 insert at 100 yards, I hit right here. There's a little bit of a crosswind, so it may have thrown me off a little bit. With my brother David, his Austrian drilling, which is his first shot today, at 100 yards, 7 by 65 r here. We're not kidding. 
These drillings are very accurate. This is no joke. Thank you, George. Thank you, David. It was unbelievable and interesting to see all that stuff. And uh, I'm a little bit jealous about the weather in Alabama. We have right now snow, rain, ah, not really nice. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, looking forward to the next video to give you some little update. It, we got an expo right now in Germany, the biggest expo for hunting and gun equipment and supplies. It's called the Jagd und Hund in Dortmund. It's in West Germany and we visit that expo in a couple of days and we start some clips over there and hope you enjoy that. Looking forward to the next video. Take care, Weidmannshal and see you on the next clip. Thanks.